I'm going to tell you about creation. Listen and pay attention. It's about you and all peoples on earth and Israel. In the beginning, God created all universe. There was darkness. And he turned it in light. That means life. He created life. All in the earth as a paradise. The green, the flowers, the trees, the animals, everything. You think about life your father created. But it was, need something else. And he created creatures. Many are extinct. It doesn't exist anymore. He created men like. In the beginning it was good. But they became savages. And not walking as he expected was not the ideal. Father kept creating. He created man to walk in this world. One different from another. And they walked to find their own place to be. And create and, and generate their own each nation. Listen to me. Your God wanted to create man to walk on his ways, guided by him. He then decide to have a place, a little place as earth, as you call a paradise. Nothing was there, just the green and trees, waters, sweet waters. And he created Adam there. Was not on the earth, but you cannot say it was in heaven. It was in his world, but it was another little creation like the earth to make Adam. Adam came from the earth. The hands of Father took the earth from the ground and created Adam. Just a tree that born from the earth and grow tall and strong with their branches. That's what God wanted. But on his way, the one kind of man, there is on his way that understands God and he can 
guide this man for this man to be in this paradise private place for his creation Adam was quiet he was really different from the other men your God created on earth God was preoccupied with him and he decided to send Adam to earth to see if he could find a companion one to be together and show some happiness or interest in to be alive. Adam walked on earth among all creatures, among the other men, among animals, but he could not find anyone anything to be close to, to talk to, to be friend, to be together, a companion. He could not find anything, anyone, not even among other men on earth. And God brings him back to this little paradise in his world and decide to, to create Adam, companion from Adam. Do you remember I told you God's ways in marriage and that no man can separate two flesh that turn it into one. That's how creation is. From Adam, God created a woman to be as Adam, to be his companion. You must understand that things of God are not of man. And sometimes I understand it gets a little difficult for you to visualize when is when he said about a tree, tree of life, tree of um, knowledge. So you imagined you see a tree, regular tree, and this is not how it works in God's ways, in God's world. In creation, there is the tree that is where the branches and the fruits and the shadow and the wood for the houses and and the living and all from the roots there are in the earth roots something that is when you build a house first you made the um, the support for the house that needs to be perfect and very strong to hold the house. This is a tree. Do you understand? So there was, or there is always, the tree of knowledge, the tree of creation, where all creation comes from the hands of God. He is the foundation of all creation, of all things of God, comes from his hand. 
from the tree of creation. The tree of knowledge is about all knowledge, all about creation, about good, about bad, everything may you can may understand and God's ways is the tree of knowledge. I know it's a little hard to get there, but if you can understand a little bit or have a slight understanding in a good understanding of you, of man, you can see truth and truth is one is your God the woman was more vivid more um, she walked she looked she explored the place Adam was more quiet but the woman explored she get close to vegetation to the nature all in this place god created to create man and where he created the woman from adam until she found the tree of knowledge that was not for her that was not for man that was not for creation not on earth not in this little paradise there are other creatures created by your God as well. that are not men. that are not like you. And there are rebellion as well. Creatures that want to destroy, want to ruin. They don't want this kind of creation. They are different from them. They want to destroy them. They want to ruin everything God created. And they seduced the woman, showing and giving her something from this tree that I told you, tree have shadow to, to, to make... Um, the heat of the sun, easy, the fruits, and uh, everything. So this creature gave her a taste of all those things, and she did not. She she didn't need it. She did not need anything from that tree. She had everything there. Everything was there. She didn't need. She did not need anything from the tree of knowledge. What? This was not need for her. This was not a need for Adam. But unfortunately, she wants to see. She wants to explore. She wants to know. And this infuriated father. Because he, he was trying to create something of him, for him, not on the earth. Do you understand? But after this, this curiosity, and after her to have the taste of knowledge about good and bad and creatures and this and that 
God decided to to send them to the earth to be with the other creation of God. Adam and his companion at the time they went to the earth they were sent to the earth to be with all creatures and other men creation of God they both became one of many men creation of the earth they were not anymore the ones created in God world now they became one of man kind creation you must understand what I'm telling you is truth is about creation is about man creation and all nations and all different peoples created one by one by your God your father your creator not all came from Adam not all came from any one of man created by God but their own as their own are the nations you see today each one of his creation a different God created each one as the same way he created Adam. The only thing is Adam was created the same way all other men was created on earth. The only difference was Adam was created in this little place paradise made especially to have his God own creation uh, some something that he could guide and be as he good and different but they became the same at the moment they were curious and had the taste of the tree of knowledge they were expelled from this place a special place of creation and they adam and his companion woman they became the same not different the same kind created on earth subject to all things good bad adam and his companion were not alone enough they were not the first man creation on the contrary they were the last one to be created by your God all other nations are children of God special creations but on earth 
Adam became as all other nations. Not special. They walked on earth. They met with the other people that were already here on earth. Creation of your God. Understand creation in truth, not about things one wrote to be the owner or the, the one from one creation. This is not true. You all are children of God. He created all of you. But you must understand there are more to call life as what you see. You, your children, vegetation, trees, animals. There are more. There are all the creations of God that are not men. And some of them, as I told you, through the tree of knowledge, that is good and bad. And since they seduced the companion of Adam and they were expelled to go to the earth to be with the other man. This kind of knowledge became for all humanity. The evil, the good, all you see and know in the earth starts when they were expelled from this special place in God's world. For all humanity, until then, they were just creation. Walking around the earth, looking for their own place, the climate, uh, vegetation, uh, where they feel comfortable to settle, to build their families and start a nation. Each one of them. So understand God's ways and please simplicity is the way to understand your God and creation and yourselves as you are and Adam and and his son met people that were here before them. And they married. They had children. And, and all the, their offspring multiplied among the other people that were here before, understand that Adam is not special, not anymore. And the evil were in them. I hope truly you see creation and yourselves 
in the way of God and how you were created. There is no special people. There is no better or worse people. But the evil and the knowledge each one of you accumulate inside of you and contaminate your soul and ruin is spoiled. I, I talk to you about spoiled and spoiled your heart. That's what I'm trying to show you and tell you. You must wash your vest. That means get rid of all this knowledge and things that spoiled your heart and ruin your soul. Because this is exactly what the creatures that seduced the woman companion of Adam did. That's what they want. They want to exp uh, um, spoil. They want to ruin. They want to destroy God's creation. Simple enough. Let's walk a little forward in time. There was a man who had a conviction that is only one and not many gods. And he he was he was curious and he was observing um, life around him and his father and brothers and family. And he saw that all that beliefs in other gods and deities and the statues and amulets and cruelty to animals and sacrifice, um, even of children to gods, was not right was not the right way. This is, was completely not right, was wrong. And he rebelled about it. And he, he was very strong in his convictions about one only God. And that all that they were doing in their city, in the place where he lived, was wrong and did nothing, did nothing to them, did not give anything to them. And he started to talk about, there is only one, this doesn't exist. You're wrong. There is only one God. At certain point, the persecution against him, his brother, and, the, and all who follow his thinking was so huge, so cruel, that he left his city and walked away. But you have to understand that God was always with him and guiding him. You know why? Because God had plans with Abraham. Let's talk a little about this. Abraham was married and happy. He loved his wife, but he, she was not able to conceive. He, she, 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 she bought many live babies from women 
but she herself was not able to give birth to a child. And this was in her something that was torturing her inside. Because he, she, she, she loved her husband. And she, she, she the, the most thing he, she wanted was to give a son to her husband. And she was not able to. But anyway. At certain point, God sent messengers that you can call foreign strangers <coughs> to visit Abraham to give news to Sarai that she will conceive a son. She did not believe. She even laughed. Me? I'm old. I, I, I just, I can't. My body does, doesn't work anymore to have a child. And they asked Abraham why she's laughing. And he was quiet. It's a woman thing. He cannot give any words about it to define what's going on with Sarai, his wife. Fair enough. Soon, she conceived a boy. His name is Isaac. You know why? Because he was always laughing and smiling. He was a happy child. And you know why? Isaac is not seed of Abraham. Despite of Abraham being a believer in one only God and being a good man, trustworthy, faithful, good husband, and leader of his own people, Abraham was not to generate the plan of God. Remember in creation God created a special place there in his own world to create a, one that he could guide um, remember that? And he created Adam, but didn't work out. And Adam and his companion became just like men on earth. The plan was over. Now, God's plan is to who? Isaac. Isaac is not seed of man. Cannot be. God has a plan. The purpose of this plan is to create a people to praise him, to follow him, to worship him as he God truly is. And he created Isaac. Put this in your mind. This is true. Isaac is not seed 
of Abraham. Isaac is not to be called child of Abraham. Abraham had children to be called children of Abraham. Isaac is not related to the children of Abraham. This is so obvious. But men don't want to see because they are of Abraham. They don't accept as the creatures in the world of God that are not men rebelled against God's creation of men, against God's creation of Adam to serve him in goodness, just like God, not the other creatures like the devils and evil and whatever. God wants something special to praise him, to worship him. It's so obvious. Isaac is of God. Grace for Sarai to have a child in the house of Abraham, but not seed of Abraham. Sarai could not conceive biologically, as any other man and woman conceive their own child and offspring. God created Isaac. But this time, God wants Isaac to be as Adam and his offspring with the man creation, you on earth. Not special, the same. To create sons, to generate it. Israel and the son who God saw the potential to generate his priests, man, creation on earth was Jacob. He's the father the patriarch from Isaac, from God, but man was Jacob, his priests. Do you understand why you complicated the truth and the obvious truth of God. Because you want to destroy everything. That is the tree of knowledge. The evil that is in the earth. Evil that followed Adam and his wife. And they stayed as they were expelled from the world of God, they became men. And then all men became contaminated by evil. Hope you understand truth. I tell you truth, not stories, not make beliefs, nothing else but truth from God.
Peace be with you.